now. It's the story you're hearing for the first time tonight, right from one of the park rangers stabbed and left bleeding on Boston Common. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Ockerlund. And I'm Maria Stefanos. It was a chaotic scene that landed that ranger in the hospital. And tonight, he is talking to just one reporter. And Bob Ward, he told you some, some details that we haven't even heard before. I, I know it, Maria. The details that park ranger James London describes of this double stabbing are stunning. For the first time, we hear how the two rangers tried to stop this attack, but their only weapons, batons and pepper spray, were no match for a man armed with a knife. Now in this exclusive interview, Park Ranger James London tells me how this all went down. How lucky do you feel a week after this attack? Uh, pretty lucky. Um, I want to say lucky, lucky I'm, a, you know, I'm small and I'm agile and I'm quick. And I was able to, you know, do my best to distance myself from the, uh, from the attack. Boston Park Ranger James Lunnan speaking to me exactly one week after he and his supervisor, Al Hurd, were stabbed in a brutal attack on Boston Common near the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. This man, 34-year-old Bodio Hutchinson, a homeless man with a history of violence, was arrested. James Lunnan was stabbed five times. These pictures revealed the extent of his injuries. The stitches just came out Tuesday. Still saw a little, little stiffness moving around. But other than that, I mean, I do, I'm, I'm doing better than, you know, what I really think I should be doing. So. Lennon tells me it all started when a person in Boston Common told him about a man near the monument with a knife. At the monument, Lennon and his supervisor saw Hutchinson smoking. They asked Hutchinson to extinguish his cigarette. Hutchinson did, and then Heard asked him about a knife. We informed him, hey, you're, you match a description of an individual. You know, with the knife, do you have anything on you? We need to know, you know, need to know, know about pretty much. And he said, no, why would I? Lennon tells me Hutchinson tried to leave, but dropped his IDs on the ground. And that's when Lennon says Hutchinson drew the knife. Did he say anything? Um, he's swearing, like, let's go. Like, you know, hit me, hit me now, let's go. Pretty much stuff like that. Lennon said his supervisor first used pepper spray to stop Hutchinson. What was the reaction? I watched him go like this and was still holding the knife in his hand. Like it did nothing to him? Pretty much. Lennon tells me he and Heard ordered Hutchinson to drop the knife. Instead, Lennon says Hutchinson lunged at Heard, stabbing him in the abdomen. Lennon reached for the only other weapon he had. I had my baton in my hand and took a step back, swung at him once, I hit him once. He kept coming forward, went to take another step back, hit him again. Um, at that time, he... He blocked it with his, his left arm, I believe, and I lost my balance because I was you know, backing up swinging at the same time. didn't really work out for me. Cell phone video shows what happened next. Lunnan on the ground trying to roll away, but that's when he stabbed. I could feel the warmth from the blood. Um, I believe that was not from the arm, but the ribs is where I could feel the, the warmth sliding down my side. You knew you were in trouble. Yeah, I, I knew I got stabbed at least one time. I knew that right away. Both men down, the attack ended in a way Lunnan never expected. And the suspect pretty much sat down where we had initial contact with him in the beginning, sat down, and pulled out a cigarette, and decided to smoke another cigarette. He stayed there and smoked a cigarette? Yeah. Help arrived when people at the scene ripped their own shirts from their backs to make tourniquets for the two injured park rangers. One of them, a man Lunnan arrested for assaulting him in the common in August. James Lunnan is home now, but his supervisor, Al Hurd, is still hospitalized. Looking back on it, Lunnan says he would do it all again. I'm glad it was me yeah. and him versus, you know, someone, you know, a tourist coming to check out the monument or someone coming to visit the common and, you know, maybe walk him up or he didn't like, you know, take to them too well. I'm glad it was, it was us. James Lunnan is home, but he's not sure if he's going to return to the job. He's got a lot of thinking to do. The Lunnan also has something to say about whether he thinks he should have had a gun. As you might know, Boston Park Rangers do not carry firearms. His reaction to that policy on the Fox 25 News at 5 and 6 tomorrow night. I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.